NERC is the National Underwater Robotics Challenge, and we created it to give teams, robotics teams, another way to test their ability to solve problems in very unfamiliar situations. Being underwater introduces a whole new set of problems, both navigation-wise and just not leaking. We're trying to build this community where all these people get together and help design the robots to be able to compete in this competition. I'm gonna get ready to toss it to the interview. Well, we are back here with Arnell interviewing a student from the Electric Eels who just went in the water. They're getting all set up and ready to go. We will throw it down to Arnell in the pits. So the theme of this year is looking both into renewable energy, but also exploring what it would be like to have the ROVs in a cavern. The kind of the conceit or the story behind this mission is that you have a team of researchers who were going down to service a joint geothermal nuclear plant in Alaska, which is right near the Ring of Fire, a heavy geothermal activity zone. And so they got trapped in a cave, so the ROV needs to rescue them. We even have an ROV kit that we designed that teams can buy so they don't have to learn how to go source all those individual things. They can focus more on the engineering and designing of solving the, the problems of how to accomplish the tasks in the mission. So we're trying to make it so it's a lower introductory price you have to pay both knowledge-wise and money-wise to get into the competition. And the hope is that you get interested and then you invest more in your Techn technical knowledge and uh, hardware that you want to get and maybe even form your own team rather than working with an ad hoc team. How difficult is this for people? It's crazy difficult because it's way harder than like driving a car. You have to worry about both the, the you know, front, back, left, right, but also the up and down in the water. And so it is quite the challenge because moving in the water, anyone who's tried to learn how to swim knows that it can be really hard. We're trying to build the STEM ecosystem in Arizona. We have age categories that go from grade school uh, all the way up to adults. So we're trying to make STEM part of the family structure. It's not something just a group of people do, but anybody can do.